Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jaron Boots Ennis. Who do y'all think would win if they were to fight in 2022? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um, I'm seeing a lot of people on social media demanding for this fight to take place for the first half of next year. And by people, I'm talking about Errol Spence fans. If you guys don't know, Errol Spence and Jordanus Ugas are in talks to fight uh, possibly in the spring of 2022, sometime in the first half of 2022 for all three of the uh, four uh, recognized belts, WB. A, W, B, C, and IBF belts will be all in the line for Spence versus Ugas. There's going to be uh, an official announcement in the near future. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Anyway, while Spence and Ugas are doing their thing, a lot of the Spence fans, and I'm saying Spence fans because I'm seeing on social media, man, they're clearly Spence fans, man. They're saying that Terrence, Terrence Crawford, the WBO welterweight champion of the world, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world today, while he waits to fight the winner of Uga Spence, he should fight Jaron Ennis. Jaron Ennis, to those who don't know who he is, he's a 24-year-old fighter from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Undefeated 28-0, 26 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. A very, very talented fighter, a very, very talented boxer, a future world champion in my opinion, one of the most underrated fighters out there in the world today. Maybe not underrated, but unrecognized a lot of people still don't know who he is and he has what it takes to become a pound for pound king one day jerry nanis he's part of the newer generation of welterweights now in my opinion all these Aero Spence fans that want to see spence i mean that want to see crawford fight ennis i'm sure they just hope that ennis would beat crawford so that spence doesn't have to fight crawford that's all they're hoping for now can Ennis, can Boots actually beat Bud? Um, it's possible. Anything's possible in the sport of boxing, right? But right now, in my opinion, it's, it's kind of hard to go against Bud. Right now, Bud is still in the top of his game. He's still, you know, he hasn't slowed down, in my opinion. Um, well, he has slowed down, but, you know, he hasn't showed that much decline uh, to make me think that um, Boots can beat him right now. Boots, don't get me wrong, is very talented. Um, Ansi? I'm going to tell you guys, I think Boots beat Spence. <laughs> That's for sure for me. But for Crawford? Nah, I don't think so, man. Crawford, I think, will be a little bit too much for him. Crawford has that ability to adapt to any style and his ability to have power in both hands, left and right. And um, he, he's he's just too awkward. He would be too awkward for Ennis, in my opinion. Um, and too fast, too strong. I, I think Bud right now would beat ennis in a competitive fight um but ennis is you know he's he's not even in his prime yet uh boots he 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 will eventually maybe in a couple years i think in a couple years from now i think i would lean towards ennis but right now in 2022 not yet not yet but anyway i just thought i'd bring up this conversation let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks